All right, scientists developed a linear model below to show the relationship between altitude or elevation above the sea level and air temperature. So it's air temperature and altitude. According to the model, what would be the air temperature at an altitude of zero feet? So you plug it in, zero. So it's going to go all the way up here. So this line's going to go all the way up there. So we don't know. We want to find out what that point is. So if we look at our answers. Right away, we can cancel out 16 and 45. So we're left with 59. We're left with 59 and 77. All right, so they give us two points, 5 and 41, 10 and 23. So with those, we have to find the slope. So you remember finding slope is rise over run, which is equal to, so our rise would be from here to here. 41 minus 23 divided by a run, 5 minus 10. Remember, we have to keep it in that order. We start from, we subtract the y1 minus y2, we have to do the same thing here. So we're left with what is that, 18 divided by negative 5. Yes. All right, so 18 divided by negative 5. Okay, so that is our slope, negative 18. So our slope is negative 18 or 5. And so now we have to solve for our, our B, which will be our y-intercept, which is the thing that we're looking for. So we have to plug in one of these points to give you, to find out what our, our, our intercept is. So we do y, remember y is equal to m, mx plus b. And our m is 18. So y is equal to negative 18 divided by 5 plus b. Sorry about that. Okay, so now we plug in a point, 5 and 41. So 41 is equal to negative 18 over 5 times 5 plus b. 5s cancel out. And so we're left with 41 is equal to negative 18 plus b. Plug in 18 to the other side. Plus 18, plus 18. You get 59 is equal to b. So our final equation is y is equal to negative 18 over 5x plus 59. So it says, what would be the air temperature altitude 0? So 0 is our x. You plug in 0. So y is equal to negative 18 over 5 times 0 plus 59. So y is equal to... 59. So the answer is C, 59. Number eight. A quadrilateral, a quadrilateral UVWX is shown below. If triangle UYX, so triangle UYX are similar and triangle WZV, so these two triangles are similar which of the following is closest to the area of VZW? Okay. So remember, they're similar. It means everything has to be in proportions. Okay. So we can do it one of two ways. Proportion the two sides and find the area. So which I think that's what we're going to end up doing. Um, okay. So, so for the small triangle is... Restore our base 4.5 to 6. As now we put the base on top now over x. So we're gonna solve for x, you gotta see what this is. So we cross multiply 4.5 is equal to 6 times 6.75. Remember, this is how you solve for proportions, you gotta cross multiply. And 6 times 6.75 is. 4.5x is equal to 40.5. You'll solve for x. So divide by 4.5. Divide by 4.5. x is equal to 4.5 is equal to 9. So this is 9. So to solve for area, remember area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. So you're going to have 9 times 6.75 divided by 2. 
So 9 times 6.75 divided by 2. You get close to you get 30.375, which is closer H. So, remember, so proportions, you set up in ratios and proportions and solve for X. Number nine, a total of 1755 customers next to the store were asked to identify which item they plan to purchase the next month. This table below shows the results of the survey. All right. So according to the information above, which of the following is true? Okay. So we got to read the information and understand which one is true. So about 320 of the customers plan to purchase a DVD player. DVD player is 260. So three. what's three? 3 20th of 1755. So what do you do? We have to multiply. So 1755 times 3 over 20. You do that in your calculator. So 1755 times divided by 20 by 3 20th is about 263.25. So that's pretty close. That's that's pretty much 264. So we're gonna keep it. We're not sure yet. We gotta check the other ones first. About 119 of the customers plan to purchase a television. Television is 325. So this is 325. So again, what do we do? We do 1755 1, times 1 over 19. And you get to do that in calculator. And you get 92, which is definitely not anything close to 325. So that's wrong. Two thirds of the customers plan to purchase laptop computers. Laptops is 256. So you do two thirds times 1755. And you get a really, really big number. 1170, which is nothing close to 256. More than half of the customers plan to purchase DVD, either a computer or a DVD player. This is a little bit tricky. This is either computer or DVD player, so it means you gotta add both. So you add DVD player plus computer. So you do DVD player, which is 264 plus 312. Plus 256. So you add those two, all three of those together, and you get 264 plus 312 plus 256. And you get 832. Now we got to find out if that's half that of 1752. 1755. So you find half of that, which is 877.5. Is this more than half? So no, it's definitely not more than half. It's not. This is way less than this. So, answer is A.